let me just start by asking you, Javed Akhtar, because I saw your tweet uh, where you said you were appalled that some figures, I think they were Muslim personal law board figures, had welcomed the return of the Taliban. What exactly did you find that they'd said and, and what made you respond in that way? You know, I mean, I cannot uh, remember their statement verbatim, but the gist was that uh, they believe that it's a very positive and very welcome development in the world, that Taliban's are regaining power in Afghanistan. Mm. Uh, good, good for them. Uh, but thankfully, uh, I have realized uh, during uh, these uh, uh, days that uh, these people are in a minuscule, negligible minority within Muslim community hmm. and most of the Muslims I met and I spoke to them, they were really appalled and they were shocked by this kind of statement. And uh, these people, these uh, people remind me of uh, that central character of um, uh, that film, uh, Sunset Boulevard, hmm. that here was an actress of uh, silent time, she, she believed that there are a lot of fans standing outside and if she go out she'll be mobbed while everybody had forgotten her. Mm -hmm. So these people are in Sunset Boulevard. The fact is that this community without opposing them verbally or uh, articulating their differences because they do, an average person then don't want to create an unnecessary controversy had moved on. Mm. Today an average young Muslim couple yes. want their children to go to good schools, yes. uh, have best education. This cannot be the criteria whether this is a girls' school or a boys' school. A good school is the criteria. Right. So let them say anything. I mean, these people believe in segregation of gender, segregation of community. Any kind of segregation is an attractive idea to them. Right. And uh, as a matter of fact, we should uh, learn something positive from this development. You see, we should look at those people in India who want to achieve the same goals, segregation. Uh, I mean, do, there have been cups that have said the girls should not have uh, uh, mobile telephones. They have been uh, anti-Romeo brigade moving in the same direction, do, trying to achieve the same thing. Yes. I mean, I see an uncanny resemblance between the Taliban and people who want to be like Taliban. <laughs> they are still, they have achieved a lot in recent times, but uh, they would like to read the position where the Taliban are. Right. I think... I mean, I, it's just interesting. Yeah, it's, it, you're right. There's an interesting parallel there and many people have pointed this out because the same people who are in a sense using the return yeah. of the Taliban to to stoke a sense of uh, Islamophobia, to say that, oh, look, now, you know, Muslim extremism is going to rise, are often the same people who themselves are guilty of various forms of extremist thought and action in this country. I have always maintained that if you look at the right wing all over the world, whether it's a Muslim right wing or a Christian right wing or Jew or a Hindu right wing, their similarity is uncanny. You see, what are they trying to achieve? Taliban want to make an Islamic country, right? Yeah. These people want to make a Hindu Raj. They yeah. see that anything which is not approved by the tradition should not be accepted. That's what they say. They say that modernization brings corruption. Uh, and uh, indiscipline, hmm. what these people say. Hmm. You see, they are also against that. They don't want uh, boys and girls uh, meeting freely and sitting in a park or a, a seashore and so on. I mean, so many things have happened. Hmm. So how are they different except that they are still not that empowered as Taliban are? Right. 